This is the wilds of nature. Here we can see how nature influences nanotechnology. Let me know if you see a gecko, won't you? Whoa, looks scary. Why do we associate geckos with nanotechnology? We are all familiar with a gecko being able to walk up an apparently smooth wall. But at the nano level, these walls aren't smooth. And the gecko has hairs on its feet which can grip onto the wall. And it's animals like the gecko and their use of nanotechnology which have been a great inspiration for scientists. Scientists have been inspired by the gecko to develop clever new adhesives. Ugh. Moths! Ugh. Did you know moths use nanotechnology? The surface of their eyes consists of nano bumps, and these nano bumps prevent light being reflected from their eyes. So when they're flying at night, predators can't see them. Scientists have replicated the nanostructures found in moth eyes to develop windscreens and LCD panels, which are anti-reflective and anti-glare. This is getting serious. Shark alert! Shark alert! Sharks move very quickly and very easily through the water. This is all down to their dermal denticles, which are small V-shaped ridges on the surface of their skin. Designers at Speedo have taken this concept and mimicked it within their swimwear to give swimmers a competitive edge. Then there's a well-known lotus plant, which keeps itself clean. But how does it work? And how is it nano? When it rains on them, the water just runs off and they don't get wet. The reason for this is that the leaves of the lotus plant have a nano structure which stops the water from wetting the surface and it forms beads that just fall off. I'm not sure I understand this. Here you see the surface of the lotus leaf replicated. Each arm represents the nano sized particles on the leaf. The water just bounces off. So wouldn't it be a great idea to be able to coat the surface of our spectacles with this type of coating? And when we walk out of a cold winter's night, into a warm bar, we don't miss that. And that day just can't come soon enough. Come on, let's leave the wilds. It's just too dangerous. <laughs>